Got a big day for baseball. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Los Angeles Angels. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Los Angeles Angels. Just about ready to roll here. And getting the call here, Griffin Canning. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Oh, he's been nearly untouchable. Kind of a silent assassin out there. Just goes to work and guys look up it's deep into the ball game and they haven't been able to scratch anything off of this guy so look for him to do the same thing today maybe go the distance maybe hand it over to the bullpen at the end and try to get that W next offering is in for a strike Check swing, tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. Did not go. Right-hander kicks, deals. Out to short, Neto. Sends it to first. One out in the top of the first. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Gavin Sheets. You know, Boog, he really makes the most out of his skill sets, leading the team in steals and on-base percentage. And, you know, you got sometimes a guy that can run really well, but he doesn't get on base enough to utilize that potential. As soon as this guy gets on first, he's thinking about second and then third. He's got the wheels to make that kind of stuff happen and really disrupt the ball game. I love watching guys like him who just make stuff happen in the lineup. Luis Robert with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Run around at first with one gone. Andrew Benintendi steps up. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Ben Intendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Robert leads off first with one away. Rudder takes off. That's in for a strike. Safe at second with a stolen base. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one, so that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. The 0-2. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Man at second. And that just misses. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swing and a ball popped up. Shanowell settles underneath it, squeezes it, and there's two away. Andrew Vaughn now looking for his first big league hit right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Drop steps, heads back on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. The White Sox leave one. And now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here with my pal Singy and towing the slab, number 65. Safe to say, he's pretty stingy, Chris. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. 
And a pitch. Taylor Ward at the plate now. That's ball one. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air on the infield. Sheets settles under this one. Brings it in. And there's one down. Take a look at the lineup. Not a team that usually sees a lot of pitches or works a ton of walks, Chris. They take a more aggressive approach than some of the other teams in the league. They definitely have a few free swingers in this lineup. You know, guys who want to be on the attack, and that's great as long as you got pitches in the zone. But if the pitcher's able to expand the zone, it can be very difficult for an offense like this to get going. You've got to somehow draw some walks, put some runners on base, so that when you do have those free swingers come up, you can cash in with some runs that are plated. Swing and a pop-up. Sosa hauls it in, and there's two away. So in now for the Angels, Nolan Shanuel. That one to first. Sheets. The flip to the pitcher covering. Angels retired. One, two, three. Angels held in check. We played an inning. No score. Back in Anaheim. Second inning set to go. And now the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. Sheets. In his third season, 27 years old, and he was a second-round pick. Back in 2017, Canning back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Missed with a changeup, and it's one and one. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. And there's one down. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. And here is Sosa to the plate. And that's too high. So two balls and no strikes. All tied up here at the top of the second. One down, base is empty. And that's just foul. And the righty deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. One out, base is empty. Still two and two after the foul ball. The why to kick the pitch. Hard hit left side. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. That one the other way. 
Ward hauls it in to end the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Angel Stadium, bottom of the second. And now it's the Angels' cleanup batter, Nico Cavadas. And a pitch. That misses. Ball one. And another ball. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. And the right hander deals. And there's a foul ball. Ripped on a line. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Nico Cavadas with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now the catcher comes up to him. Logan Ohapi. There goes the runner. Line drive to short and caught. Throw behind the runner. They've got him doubled off. Now it's the rookie DH. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And here it comes. Slice down the right side. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Here's Corey Lee. The wind and the pitch. And that one upstairs. And a foul ball. Good eye in that spot. Right through there for a strike. Too low, and it's ball three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And down on strikes he goes, and there's one down. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. The 0 1. Just missed. Next offering upstairs. 
One down, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And a swing and a miss. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Foul ball. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. There's the strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Cut on and miss, struck him out, and it's a three up, three down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And we're back. Now it's the second baseman, number 33. The pitch. That one at the knees for a strike. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Out of here. His first homer of the year, it's 1-0. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. And here's the rookie center fielder, Jordan Adams. Pitch in the dirt, and it's 1-0. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Righty delivers. Out towards right center field. Fletcher makes the grab, one away. Batting nine. The right fielder, Gustavo. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Sosa on the run, throw to first. Not in time, he legs it out. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. 
That's in there. That's strike one. And that's through there for a strike. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. Pickoff move to first, and he's back in there. And the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. So digging in, Zach Neto. He popped out his first time. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. In the air to left down the line. Benintendi sizing this one up. Corrals it. And that is that. Angels get one with a solo homer. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Start of the fourth. Luis Robert now. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? This to third. Fires across the diamond, and they take care of Robert for the out. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Ben Intendi to the plate. 0 for 1 so far. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. A little anxious, a little aggressive early in the count. Too much for me. That one down the line. Takes it himself, and that quickly two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. Fly to right his first time. Swing and a miss. Going one. That catches the corner. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Got him. And the White Sox go quietly. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And it remains one nothing. Bottom of the fourth, here's the third baseman, Nolan Shanowell. The right-hander back to work. Off the mark there. And that is ball one. Here's a rocket out to left. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And there's one away. And next for L.A., Nico Cavadas. One for one with a single so far. And that one hammered. That's back there. See you later. A massive home run. 
and they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Next to hit, Logan Ohapi. One down, base is empty. That one finds the zone, and a count is 0-2. Swings and misses two out. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Two outs, base is empty. And now the designated hitter for the Angels. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Splits the plate. Strike one. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Close one doesn't get the call. And now it's even one and one. Kicks and deals. Outside low, two and one. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He flexes his power with that swing. It's their second home run of the inning, and they boost their lead. It's 3-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the second baseman. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. That's out to center field. Robert moves under it. Brings it in for the third out. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Anaheim, we go to the top of the fifth. And here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. And now it's even up. Just missed. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. High fly ball out to left field. Ward sizing it up. And out number one on the grab.
Lennon Sosa digs in now grounded out to short in his first trip. And a foul ball. Well you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch guy hasn't thrown it very much you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time in the air left field Ward drifts towards it and there's two away just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left timing issues can snowball quickly and that's what we're witnessing here this lineup's inability to lock on to the pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings and first offering is fouled off two outs swing and a ball lifted in the air shallow left field and that'll fall for a base hit Dominic Fletcher with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here two outs runner at first Corey Lee will hit next. He's 0 for 1. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. At the belt and fires. Wouldn't chase that time. This could end it. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Riding to the plate. That one way outside. Ball three. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Kicks and fires. In the air out towards right center. Touches down. That's a hit. Around third. He scores, and it's now a two run game. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. So two down next to hit Miguel Vargas. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That's in there and that is strike one. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80 percent of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up with the tying run at the plate. And we're at the top of the fifth. Canning checks the runner throw and it gets away. And that's off the inside edge and one and one. And he grounds one back up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. And what a play. Ball game. What an exciting finish to this game. An amazing play right there. It's hard for the fans to go home. They want more. They're not ready to leave and head to their cars. But an outstanding job to keep entertaining all the way to the end. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.